Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and in this video we're going to talk about my top five ways for learning and studying AWS. Last year I managed to gain um, all three associate level qualifications, so the Solution Architect, the SysOps Administrator and most recently the Developer Associate. So I tried many different ways of learning this technology and I think I found five ways which um, which are pretty much the, the best methods to actually retain information and also be able to pass the exam and actually just learn more about the technology in general and be able, being able to communicate that to your boss, your colleagues or your customers. So the first resource I want to talk about is A Cloud Guru. So this company runs training courses for all of the major cloud providers, so AWS, GCP and Azure. They run courses on their own website and also Udemy, um, Linux, Academy, Linux Academy and a few others. Um, I've only used the ones for AWS, but these seem to be top level courses. I've used many other companies in the past, such as CBT Nuggets, and these just seem to be that extra um, level above. They seem to be able to explain the technology at a much deeper level, but also make it easy to understand. Um, their presentations are really good. The instructors are very clear and concise. Um, and they don't, they don't have very long lectures either. They're pretty much straight to the point and there's no waffling going on. Um, they also have quizzes at the end of each section and also labs. And they also offer practice exams at the end of each um, course. So I use this for all three of the exams and they're normally relatively cheap. You can usually get a discount code or if you're lucky enough, your employer may be able to offer the service um, for a training provider such as Unimi or Linux Academy. So the next um, resource I want to talk about is the AWS free tier. So this is um, a product that Amazon offers where you can essentially try all of the products in the cloud um, either for free or at a reduced cost. Um, so you can see some of the offers you get here, such as 750 hours per month of Amazon EC2, um, five gigabytes of S3 stand storage, 750 hours of RDS, and pretty much every single product of, is offered in free tier. Um, and you only start paying once you go over what is offered and you can do an awful lot of development um, and just testing things out in here. Um, I've got loads of projects which I go through and that's pretty much the best way I found to learn AWS, learn the products and actually retain the knowledge is by just trying out your own products on here, building your, your own websites, your own Lambda functions, um, setting up API gateways, setting up your own RDS. You can also build much larger products. You can use things like AWS Amplify for authentication and build out a whole full step web application and actually be serving users just, just on free tier. I myself, I built a, um, my own social network just for, just for practice using AWS Amplify S3 DynamoDB, API Gateway, and Lambda. And this offers you so much flexibility in terms of just being able to build your own projects with very minimal costs. So if you see anything in these videos from a Cloud Guru or another train provider you want to try out, it is very easy just to come into here, um, spin up a few machines and just get um, just get deving. And if you have any issues like, like at work or, or anything that you're reading up on, you know, you can just come in here and, and get working on it straight away. And just a word of warning, um, it is important to also put on billing alarms. I myself have come back to about, you know, a hundred dollar bill, hundred pound bill, um, just by leaving some, just by leaving something on like an RDS instance. Um, you just, you just forget and the RDS instances actually turn themselves back on after a period of time. So just be wary of that and make sure you have your billing alarms set up in Cost Explorer. The third train resource that I use quite often is Stephen Merrick. He has plenty of videos on AWS going through each individual um, product. So you can see here's going through Amplify, um, Kafka, EC2 Basics, some really, really good videos there. He also has his own courses on Udemy, um, I think on maybe on Linux Academy as well, but yep, great resources here. Definitely go and check these out. Um, I use this quite a lot in the SysOps exam very, very good resource. 
So the fourth training resource is a video series on AWS called This Is My Architecture. And this is comprised of hundreds and hundreds of um, companies detailing how they run their infrastructure in AWS. So many different use cases and so many great explanations of how the real world are actually using AWS. And this has been very beneficial for studying exams, improving my own development, and just learning more about the product in general. You can see here, you've got different product categories. So you got analytics, um, application integration, business productivity, machine learning, media services, storage serverless, a whole lot of great resources here. And you can even go by a specific injury, um, industry or language if you need to look at anything really specific. So financial services or gaming often have great videos on how they're running their infrastructures on AWS. So the final resource I want to talk about is Medium. This website offers a large amount of articles on a wide range of topics, but you can come into here and just search for AWS or specific AWS technology and get really good high quality articles back from it. It's really good just to go through here and look at the variety of information on AWS and just see how other IT professionals are using it, other businesses. And I've found some great articles in here in the past, um, which I'll put in the description. But you can see here people talking about Amazon Elasticsearch, um, some tips and tricks for certifications as well. That might be a good read. And you know, do, do's and don'ts and of AWS Lambda. That's probably be a great one. And I probably need to read that as well. So yeah, guys, those are my five resources for learning AWS. If you have any further questions, please let me know. I will post the links for these and any other resources that I normally use in the description. Please like the video and please subscribe.